Countach C600H engine hunts, Honda 16 horsepower V-twin, choke rod under the carb can be seen rising and falling in time with the hunt beats. Thanks. Can you guesstimate how old the engine is? And has it done anything like this in the past? Bought new July 2005. Last large service February 2013. Little use since. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? As far as possible. Anything else we should know to help you best? New petrol, unleaded, put in a moment ago. Makes no difference. Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. I don't know at all, but maybe together we can get you a satisfactory answer. Run a cylinder test. Loosen the spark plug wires and with engine idling, remove one wire at a time. Engine should continue to run, if engine dies when wire is removed, the opposite cylinder is not firing. The cylinder not firing will cause the governor to make engine surge. Cylinder can lose spark or compression. Hello Curtis. Thanks for your suggestion. Before I try that may I add a couple pieces of information which may help the diagnosis along. When the engine is warm the idle speed is good and steady, at full throttle, and when it is displaying the hunting behavior, there is a rod which connected to the carb and below the engine which rises and falls in time with the hunting. By holding this rod steady one can bring the engine to a good and steady state. This may suggest that either the governor is the culprit or the signal into it may be compromised. I hope this helps. Maybe you could suggest something for me to try in order to pinpoint the actual reason that rod is rising and falling. Many thanks. David? The rod on the carburetor that is moving, is the governor link. Run cylinder test, as this governor movement is normal, it is trying to compensate for lack of fuel or misfiring cylinder. Okay. Many thanks Curtis. I've now done the cylinder test as you outlined and indeed one side is faulty. I have also swapped the spark plugs and it continues to show up on that same side indicating a faulty ignition lead or height unit rather than the plug. Having removed the top cowling and examined the height leads and magneto ring arrangements it looks like it will be an expenditure on at least one new height lead and coil as they appear to be made as molded units. Unless you can suggest a handy and cheap home workaround. Three photos attached. Great advice so far, thanks. Yes, I figured it was one of the coils, they just have to be replaced and be sure you get the right one. On some Hondas, there is a right and left coil module. I don't know if you got my reply comments on your last advice posting as the web page erased as soon as I clicked on the 5 rating. Anyway, thanks for your help Curtis regards David UK. Yes I got it. Thanks. Hello again Curtis. I bought a new coil and fitted it on the Honda 16 horsepower twin engine Countach's lawn mower. Unfortunately it shows exactly the same problem. What next please? Regards David. Unplug the single kill wire on the coil and see if it has spark and will fire the cylinder. Okay Curtis, I'll try that tomorrow as it's getting dark here in UK now. However which is the kill wire please? Maybe a difference in UK slash USA jargon of course but I interpret it as the low tension, crimped, 
Push on, connection coming from perhaps the governor circuitry rather than the height spark lead itself. Is that correct? Thanks. David? Yes, David, the slip onto the push terminal is the kill wire. Thanks, Curtis. Wow, that was a quick response, but now to change and pour myself a warm beer. Sounds good. Texas. Summarizing the Countax slash Honda twin 16 horsepower engine situation today, Good Friday, April 14, 2017. Yesterday, after a long delay obtaining a new coil, I fitted this new height coil. Left hand side as viewed from above, as the original diagnosis by removal of each plug lead in turn had showed that the fault was with that coil or its control. The engine had continued to run adequately with the LH plug lead removed but not with the RH lead removed. Now however the engine still hunts at 3200 revolutions per minute, full rabbit speed, but idles nice enough at 1300 revolutions per minute, tortoise speed. Removal of the kill lead, as advised, produces new effects, the engine starts okay but runs erratically at about 1,600 revolutions per minute with full rabbit throttle and only at the lower idle, tortoise, speed of 660 revolutions per minute although it is reasonably smooth running at a slower speed. Oh dear, this looks like another expensive component coming. So is it firing on both cylinders? Was compression ever checked on both cylinders? And have the valves been adjusted or checked for proper clearance? I have just repeated the cylinder test at idle you described in an earlier exchange. I loosened the spark plug wires and with engine idling, removed one wire at a time. Engine died when the height to the left hand plug was removed. The service and usage history is as follows, Countax Mower C600H purchased new by me July 2005. Usage has been low and restricted to about 2 or 3 hours hours every 3 weeks during the growing season say May to October. Some years, especially recently, it has seen even less usage. Last large service was in February 2013 but I very much doubt that the compression was investigated or the valves checked in the manner you describe either then or previously and I certainly do not have the facilities to do such work myself. The mower is kept under cover in an outside automobile garage but we do get quite damp conditions during the winter and the garage is not heated. Right cylinder not firing. Do you have spark at that cylinder? Was this the coil you replaced, or the other? Oh dear, sorry Curtis, I think I've messed up. I think it was the left cylinder which appears not to be firing. I'll look at this again tomorrow and get back to you. It was certainly the left coil I had changed. I'm trying to run around on so many things at the moment, we had 10 horses and 20 people here at the weekend doing a side saddle clinic and I am still recovering from lack of sleep and tidying up the mess. On top of that other things keep breaking and needing attention in the house. Just changing the light bulb is a nightmare these days and two of those have called for attention this week. Grr. Okay I have a big weekend, and won't be back until Monday night, Texas time. Hello again Curtis. I hope you had a great weekend. I have done some more tests since our last communications. The compressions on each of the two cylinders are identical and stay steady after the test at 7 bar. The left hand spark plug slash height coil gives no spark, the right hand one is healthy. Testing the kill wires feeding each height coil using a resistance meter, ohms, shows the following, a, right hand coil. 
While cranking and the resistance meter placed between the wire and the engine frame reads as an open circuit but this then goes to 1100 ohms on cessation of cranking. B. Left hand coil. Testing is above, open circuit before, during and after cranking. This suggests to me that there is something wrong with the kill wire circuit of the left hand coil. The problem must be between the coil push on connector and the mower electrics themselves however without a circuit diagram I need further guidance on where to look and what to do next please. Regards D. Single kill wire to the coils, or multiple wires set up to coils. If singe kill wires, the wires will go to a square block, about inch square, this is. The kill diode if you unplug the kill wire at coil, and have no spark replace the coil on left cylinder. I was wondering what this little square block was. It sits right on top of a hot manifold, not an ideal place for a diode. As to the replacing the height coil I already replaced that coil on the left cylinder before doing these tests. Would it not indicate that the diode block is the more likely candidate for replacement? Single kill wires to each height coil. Are coils same number? Honda likes to use two different numbers, one for right and one for left. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.